Let's check out the green banana cockroach. Hello and welcome back to Incredibly Inverse and other animals with me, Phil. And as I said, in this video we're going to be checking out the green banana cockroach. One of the many species uh, that I keep and breed. Um, so, let's go ahead and check them out. Okay, so here we have the green banana cockroach, or Panclora nivea. Uh, sometimes also referred to as the Cuban cockroach, uh, and that's because it is found in Cuba, but it's also found in the Caribbean, um, and then also uh, along the coast from Florida to Texas, and has even been observed in South Carolina as well. They tend to be found in sort of subtropical to tropical climates. So these guys are not a particularly large species of cockroach. Females uh, get around sort of just over 20 millimeters in length, uh, males up to around 15 millimeters in length. Uh, they do have wings and they can fly and they are a very good flyer as adults. So uh, now something to bear in mind uh, when keeping the species, they can also climb up smooth surfaces so they can climb up plastic and glass and stuff as well. So absolutely no problem. So again, something to bear in mind when keeping the species. Um, but that they are incredibly easy to keep. Uh, they do like it sort of fairly humid. Uh, they do require sort of, you know, a decent amount of moisture in their substrate. Um, with some to also bear in mind uh, that they do require obviously decent sort of ventilation as well as, you know, just basically to make sure that that substrate doesn't go absolutely horrible. So I keep these guys in a 5.8 uh, bra glass tub that you can see here. Uh, coir that's a few inches deep and then bits of bark and stuff uh, just slants up against the sides which the adults like to climb on and hide in they'll also bury a little bit as well now nymphs uh, pretty much spend their time underground then these are our nymphs here so nymphs are brown and they spend yeah i say pretty much all their time buried so they get their wings and their sort of green coloration sometimes yellow even uh, on their final molt so now, feeding for these guys, I give them primarily uh, sweet potato, carrot, and apple. Um, they actually love carrot, I find. Um, they also love the apple. But, you know, mix and match, um, vet, try various things. They don't necessarily have to eat banana. So, um, but they they basically are found in habiting things like banana trees, but also other trees and shrubs as well. So, um, so mix and match with various fruits and vegetables uh, for them. So they'll also feed a little bit on uh, on leaf litter as well, but I find not as much. They do go for the fruits and veg a lot more, I find, uh, personally, but that's just, that could just be my group. Cool. Uh, but I do find they breed very, very uh, quickly and easily. So, um, so as long as you've got males and females, you will get nymphs. Um, but like I say the nymphs do look, and as you saw, look very different. They are brown and stay buried most of the time. Uh, so sometimes you might not think you got any until you actually go dig in a little bit and then find it's actually full of nymphs. So, uh, now also in here uh, with them is a whole bunch of springtails which obviously helps uh, keep everything nice and clean as well. So, um, and the biggest thing with these guys to remember is that the adults are very very good flyers. They are nocturnal so they're more active at night. Um, so sometimes it's best to actually do any kind of feeds and stuff uh, during the day where they're you know less likely to be active and so um, perhaps they're slightly to just uh, take off and fly off as uh, they are sometimes referred to as a green mist uh, when you get lots of them um, but they're just a fantastic fantastic species okay guys so that was the green banana cockroach what do you guys think uh again another beautiful species in my opinion uh they easy to keep but they can be for some people a little bit annoying because the adults fly um, and so you do have to be sometimes careful opening the lid uh, to make sure that none fly out and so um, But they're fantastic. Uh, they can make fantastic feeders because uh, they do breed fairly easily So um, so they make a great alternative kind of feeder as a bit of an enrichment feed for a few different animals and stuff um, especially things like chameleons um, prey mantids anything that will take flying prey um, The fact that these guys fly they don't get huge and so uh, yeah, really is making quite an interesting, uh, just another option, really. Um, now, I do sometimes have some of these available at some of the invert shows. Um, and so they are, yeah, they're fantastic. One, and so adults are green, easy to tell apart as well. And the males are small, females are fairly large, you know, in comparison. And then the nymphs are brown, 
uh, as hopefully you saw in the video, uh, and uh, pretty much they buried the whole time. No, but yeah, super, super easy one to keep. So just a, another great alternative, whether you want them as a feeder or just as a pet cockroach. They're fantastic, uh, in my opinion. So, um, as a quick update, I do now have a Patreon uh, account now as well for anyone who is interested. Obviously, there's no obligation or anything like that, but there is a link down in the description uh, for that, along with links for the TikTok, um, Instagram, Facebook, uh, I was in my affiliate link to the spider shop where again, if you want anything from the spider shop if you use my link um, I get a little bit of commission at no extra cost to you so, um, so yeah, all that can be found uh, down in the description and yeah I've signed up Patreon uh, there's just one one tier at the moment just to kind of see how it goes I've been humming and hawing about it um, and I thought you know I'll give it a go uh, you know just for if, the, if anyone does want to um, but of course, just watching my content, uh, commenting, liking, sharing, anything like that is more than enough. Um, so, but is another option uh, for people that want to support the channel. So if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Pop some comments down below. And if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell for notifications. So you know next time I upload another video. But until next time, guys, take care, stay safe, and keep rocking.